Hey, I'm gonna do another review of scalps. But hold on, let me open this. Okay, I got scalps. I've had it for a while now. I can't remember if I ordered it or I saw it at a Best Buy and picked it up. And I, I can't remember which, but probably I just got it for the cover. But the cover was really cool. It's a 20th anniversary edition. I don't think I've ever heard of it before, but just, you know, what it said on the back. One of the most censored films of all time. Relentless, relentlessly morbid. Uh, Comparing it to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I think like um, I heard it like had some pretty gory scenes in it, so you know I, I just had to have it. I think I got it for like ten bucks. Like, here's the the disc. This looks just like the cover. It looks cool. It comes um, with the um, it has a commentary, um, still gallery, and then. Also, like when the movie starts, it has like a disclaimer at the beginning, saying that this this one was put together from a bunch of different sources, including the VHS. But you can tell, like there's some parts that gets really dark, but it's never you know unwatchable. It didn't really bother me, just to be able to see it, you know, finally, it was a good thing. And uh, it, it has some good good gore in it. Um, if you listen to the commentary, uh, they actually put almost all the the best gory scenes like right in the beginning of the movie. And the director, Fred Owen Ray, he was really disappointed with that. I think it was he had no part in the editing. So they just the whoever edited and marketed the movie, they just threw everything in the beginning. <coughs> um, you know, I don't I don't like to give stuff away. But even there's like a this um, like a lion man, and you see him in the very beginning. And uh, they say he was he wasn't you weren't supposed to see him like that. You see him later in the movie, and it's pretty effective the way they show it. But the way they just show him in the beginning of the movie, I mean, he looks kind of kind of dumb. But you know, again, that wasn't a director's choice. Um, the movie itself is about these uh, archaeological students. They go into the desert uh, to an ancient Indian burial site and looking for artifacts. And then they uncover um, his name is uh, I think it's like Black Claw or like a an Indian sorcerer, and they disturb his his grave. So he comes up and you know wants revenge on people that disturb his grave. You know, it's a pretty basic story, and then it is kind of like a slasher. After that. You know, he just possesses one of the students and starts, you know, killing them all off. But uh, it, it's pretty good. Um, the the gore scenes are, are good. And one in particular is a pretty brutal throat slashing. That it's probably the main reason people get it. I think that's why I got it. But it is good. It, it is pretty pretty hardcore like throat slashing scene. It looks real. But, like, they compare it to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think that's a, you know, kind of a false statement. It's nowhere near as good as Chainsaw. I mean, it, it's pretty good, but, you know, Chainsaw is, like, one of the best, if not the best horror movie ever made. And comparing Scalps to Chainsaw kind of lessens it a little. You know, if they wouldn't just say what it's about, something different, not compare it to other movies... It, and make it better. But to add it to your collection, I've seen it on Amazon one um, one is going for like eighty bucks. You know, no way is it worth paying eighty bucks. Maybe if, if you know you're a big collector like I am, and you just have to have it, you can see it for like twenty. Definitely less than that. It, it would be worth it to get it. Like if you saw it somewhere for the, under that price, I would. They totally get it because it's just like a lost uh, old horror movie that 
I don't think most people have ever heard of. I've never heard of it before seeing it on DVD. And uh, I've seen it a few times. It's actually gotten better. First time I was kind of disappointed in it. I've seen it, seen it a few times. I mean, like four or five times. And it, when I watched it to review, it, it was definitely better than all the other times I've seen it. Really, I enjoyed it a lot more. <coughs> so it is one of those movies that gets better with with the uh, more viewings. And another thing I want to say how, you know, they, they say that acting is bad. It's really not that bad. They do a good job. There's a part where one of the girls, you know, she gets raped. And it's a pretty, you know, intense scene. That I don't think she was acting bad, like do bad acting in that scene. Or the guy that was, that was supposed to be raping her. It was pretty realistic and it was pretty hard to watch. So to say that they're bad actors, you know, that's like, you know, that's... They just say that about every every low budget horror movie, and it's, it doesn't always fit, and it definitely doesn't fit with scalps. So it it, it is a good movie, and um, so yeah, I'd say if you see it, get it. It's one to add to your collection, and um, I guess that's about it for scalps. Um, you know, here's the, here's the back, some images there. Yeah, that's about it for scalps. Um, um, got you know a lot of more reviews coming, and if anyone has any requests for anything to review, you know, just um, you know get in contact through YouTube or, or Facebook. It just you know, if you look for me on Facebook, it's just Artie Flores. You can find me that way and just uh, message me. And if anyone wants you know to see something reviewed, I'll do it. But until then, you know, I'll see you next time. Bye.